Welcome to my channel. This is Dawn with Pink Chair Gaming and this is day 7 of my 30 day challenge to create a festive island in 30 IRL days using no Nintendo Online. My goals for the island are to have at least 2 festive builds, have a 5 star island, and have at least 3 villagers that fit the island theme. In yesterday's video I was finally able to figure out exactly what I want to do with my pathing and was able to create my entrance. While purchasing all of the different pathing options, I ended up using quite a bit of my Nook Miles, so today I need to do a little bit of grinding to see if I can build those back up. The next big purchase I really want to make is the waterscaping permit. I want to do some waterscaping around the resident services area, so let's see if I can grind through and make enough Nook Miles to get it. I mentioned in a previous video that I was changing up my dirt path just a little bit. Um, I was messing around with the edges um, and I was finally able to finish those pieces and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. All right, I am still getting really lucky with my DIYs. Chops was able to give me an illuminated tree. So here we go, stocking up on the festive DIYs. I decided to go ahead and try and extend my path from resident services to the right side of the island. And when I was placing this bridge, I tried really hard to get it so that it was going to be exactly where I wanted it, and it is one space off. So I'm not going to worry about it right now, but sometime in the near future, I need to go ahead and demolish this bridge, and I guess decide if I'm going to put one back up or if I just want to do something completely different. Um, with my terraforming on that side. But for now, we're just gonna do what we can with this pathing just to kind of get it in here and get things started. All right, I have gotten all the Nook Miles I want for this day, so let's go ahead and time travel to the next day. As I was walking through my island, I saw that Deirdre had a thought bubble and she had the audacity to ask me if she could leave and I said, um, no, you should stick around. I worked too hard to get her on my island, so she is definitely sticking around. I still haven't been able to find the iron and stone fence, but I was able to find just the plain iron fence, and I think that'll make a very good substitute in the interim. I am finally starting to get the patterns from Sable, and these will be a great addition when I start customizing furniture. I got another good DIY win from my bottle on the beach. We got the garden bench. Cannot tell you how happy I am to get this DIY. I love having good benches that you can place around the island. All right, and Piper is going to keep our good luck going because she's going to give us the tabletop festive tree. I'm getting really close to having all of the festive DIYs that I want for decorating the island. I need to finalize all the details of exactly how I want to do it, but somewhere in this area I'm going to create like a mini neighborhood with a festive build in the middle of it, probably with one of the giant trees, um, but I'm going to save that for a later video until I finalize exactly what I want to do. I was trying to get a few extra nook miles by building a snowboy and putting it right next to the house here, but for whatever reason I couldn't get them to actually join. And the only option I had at that point was to just blow them up. I then had the opportunity to try it yet once again back in the same place and it did it again. I guess it just does not like being that close to a cliff and won't let you do it. I decided at this point I've had enough of this day so we're going to go ahead and time travel to the next day. We all know that getting duplicate DIYs is the worst, but this beats anything I've ever seen. I just got the Cosmo shower from Whitney, then immediately got it again from my bottle on the beach. I'm really beginning to think there's a flaw with the RNG on this island. I finally have enough Nook Miles to purchase the waterscaping permit, so let's go ahead and get that and see if we can actually do a little bit of decorating. I've decided that I'm going to put a skating rink right behind resident services. So the first thing that I need to do is clean up this area uh, by chopping down the trees. And unfortunately, we're going to have to get rid of the two rocks and just let them spawn somewhere else on the island. Now it's time to create our ice. I started by deciding on the color for the ice, which is a lighter shade of the watercolor in the game. 
Next, I used one shade lighter and drew lines on it to represent the ice shining in the sun. After I had the lines drawn, I decided to lighten up my actual ice just a little bit, and I think I'm happy with how it's turned out. This is where my waterscaping is going to come in handy because the river that's flowing to the right of resident services is just kind of in my way for how I want to do this. So we're going to close it in a little bit. I'm not sure exactly how much, and I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with the actual water once we get the skating rink put in. Okay, now it's time to actually place the ice down, and I decided to go ahead and outline it using the solid stone tile that I have on the edge of my pads. I think that's a really good way to frame it up. After I had it down, I decided that I wanted my path to extend all the way um, to the left of it, which required me to take part of it up and put the in-game pathing underneath it um, so that it'll look correct. Now that I've got the ice placed down, I decided to alter the pattern just a little bit. Um, I really didn't like how the lines were looking, and I think it's because I didn't drag the design from one side to the other so that the lines look more continuous on the ground and not so choppy looking. And once I made these changes, I think I'm happy with it. As I was starting to really think about decorating, I realized I never went to Harv's Island and unlocked Cyrus so that I could customize furniture. So as much as I hate to part with my 100,000 bells, it is a necessary evil if we're going to finish this challenge on time. I really want the frozen ice fencing around this area, but I have not gotten the DIY yet. So for now, we're going to go ahead and use just the plain iron fence, and I have customized it to the black color. And now we're going to decorate the center of it with the illuminated tree and some of the illuminated snowflakes. After I had all of that placed, I realized I don't have um, the rink symmetrical on each side. So we're going to go ahead and just fill in the rest of this water pathing over here on the right. Um, and let me fix the rank so that it is the right size. And since I had to do that, I decided to go ahead and make a path on the right side that matches the left side of the rank. And I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with this log bridge that's over here. I may end up just filling all of that in and deciding the waterscaping for this area later. Wouldn't you know it, now that I have all of the fencing done for my skating rink, I get the frozen fence DIY from a balloon. I really want it in this area, so let me go catch some snowflakes so I have enough and I'm going to go ahead and make it and put it up. There we have it. My skating rink is complete. Um, and After looking at how I decorated it, I really need to start thinking about what time of day I want to do the dream address. If I'm going to use a good bit of the illuminated items, I'm probably going to want to do it at nighttime, which would be pretty cool because I don't think I've ever done a nighttime island before. But for now, that's going to be it for this video. We're about a quarter of the way through the challenge and I'm very happy with the progress on the island. I have a couple of small builds out of the way and a couple of other ideas in the planning stages. If you want to see what happens tomorrow, Please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!